We have one last call. We're going to go slightly over here with this. John in Texas wants to talk about the laws of reality in a King James Bible. So welcome, John. Hey, how's everybody doing today? Good. Are we, are good. we going with, with the 1611 King James or a different version? Yes. Yes, the uh, 1611 King James I, Version Bible. I got it ready. Where are we going? What are I we doing? Wanna, well, what I want to talk about... Uh, I want to take my time, make well, sure I get this right. I want to talk about. I, I'm God's I'm going to ask you to not take too much time because we've already run over time. But go ahead. Okay, okay. God, I want to talk about God's laws of reality, and what I mean when I say God's laws of reality, I mean the world that God says that He created, the things that are in the world, and the things that we can do, and the things that we can't. For example. One of God's laws of reality is that man, he says that man is appointed once to die, meaning that you are born and then you die. And so far, that hasn't changed. One, uh, one, another law of reality is he says he only created life on earth, even though scientists believe that uh, there's alien life, but the Bible disagrees with that. Yeah. And he also says that a man... Yeah. A man we need reference. Man Citation on that last one. He says man will never live what? And, and the last law I want to talk about is that man will never live on another planet. Even though, see, in a, in a lot of the laws that I'm saying, is it goes against what science teaches. I, I, so here we are. So I'm, I'm, I want to do this. Um, I am aware that the Bible says it's appointed unto a man once to die. Um, however... We have people who have died and been recovered and died again and been recovered and died again and been recovered. Um, now, I would argue that maybe they're not completely dead, but if they hadn't been resuscitated, they would have been dead. So, okay, you get to claim, I guess, that God created medicine so that someone can be essentially dead and then revive. Okay. But let's, so let's, let's set okay. that one aside. Okay. Hang on. I'm still talking. Let's okay. set that one aside because the notion that man is appointed wants to die um, first of all, you have no evidence that God said anything. You have no evidence that God said any of this, and it doesn't matter whether or not God said it. Um, this notion about death is pretty much straightforward. It's the way entropy and things work in the universe. But you say that the Bible says God only created life on earth and that man will never live on another planet. What, what verses does that happen in? In the book of, in the book of Genesis, God records and he, he says everything Where? that he created— from the animals to the trees to the fish to the grass to even male and female, he records everything he, that he created, and never did he say he created life on another planet anywhere okay. else. No, no, no. here's the problem. Hang on, hang on. The fact that okay, if, uh, so we're we're just going to talk about this in the terms that you suit. So you're saying that God says in the Bible He created all these things and He listed them, and you're saying that the fact yeah. that God did not say I also created things elsewhere is equivalent to saying yeah, I did not create things elsewhere. He wouldn't leave us in the dark about anything. No, 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 no. I asked a question. I asked a question. Are okay. you suggesting that because it says God created life here and does not say that God created life elsewhere, that therefore it is impossible that God created life elsewhere? Uh, yes. I okay, have. that's that is that is a logical fallacy that is simply not true. If I list the 10 things that I did this week wow. at my house, that doesn't mean I didn't do other things mm -hmm. elsewhere. You you have a, an incredibly yeah, but, flawed argument on that. Where does it uh, say man where does it say man will never live on another planet? Well, the the point that I'm making is No, I asked a question. God is, whatever God I, I is, asked a question. There's more to it. I, you're, what, what, what you're saying, what okay, you're now saying, I'm gonna now I'm gonna mute you and you're gonna listen because we're already over time for the show. I want to know what verse it says where man will never live on another planet, and also does that count the moon? Uh, well, in the in the scriptures, he tells you that man will live on Earth only and be judged from the Earth. There will be no, you won't live on Reference. a God never said Reference. you will live on another planet. You're going to be just where, where on Where does it say man will only live on Earth? 
I'm telling you that man will only live on earth. I'm saying where in the Bible does it say me? that? Can you show me where man has li is living on another planet? Can I'm you sorry. I'm sorry. Are you just going to go straight to a logical fallacy because I called you out for some bullshit that you can't prove? Where in the Bible does it say that man will not live on another planet? I'm telling you, throughout the Bible, he tells No, no, that there's no such man, thing as throughout the fucking God. Bible, you dishonest person. Where in the Bible? If you're going to say the Bible says man won't live on another planet, chapter and verse right now. Okay. There is no verse. But I'm telling good. you this. So you're if a liar. You what I'm saying. You're a liar for God. Goodbye. Wow. Uh, I, I There's no verses where about uh, man living in America. Yeah. And nowhere in Genesis 1 does it say that God created angels. And I'm sure he believes in angels. So I don't know. I don't know what to do. Yeah. It's amazing. So first of all, there's a logical fallacy here that um, this notion that if God didn't say he did something, then he didn't do it. And you just you know, perfectly rebutted that because, oh, it didn't say this. Ah, but you believe it. This is the thing. It's worse than we think because I granted, people are like, oh, Matt's just terrible. He doesn't let the people speak. He doesn't let him make the bullshit. Pull the other one. You liars, you fucking liars for your disgusting book, for your disgusting, immoral, sexist, racist, violent fucking book that inspires people to prey on people in times of need and tell them that they're responsible if they didn't reach out to God. And then you come in with bullshit about, oh, God didn't say he created things on another planet, so he must not have. Well, you know what? As far as I'm concerned, John, God hasn't said anything. I granted you that we'll go with what the Bible says, and we'll go with the Bible being the word of God, and we'll go with you, you point to the Bible and tell me what the Bible says. And for the sake of argument, I'll just go with it. And you couldn't even do that because you guys make up whatever shit you want. The Bible, as Don Baker used to say, is the great book of multiple choice. You can make it say whatever you want as long as you allow for interpretation. And as soon as we find out more things about the world, you can go back and interpret scripture so that you think in a non-canonical book like Enoch that he's talking about supermassive right. black holes. You can just claim, 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 claim. Claim, claim, claim with the Christian prove proof with the scientist get the fuck out with that stuff it's embarrassingly bad and when i ask a simple question you're you want to tell me hey the bible says this where does the bible say that well it says it all throughout no it doesn't no it absolutely doesn't you people don't know your own book you don't know no. the history of that book you don't know what's going on i had somebody else I, i've been i've been scrounging through tiktok and in <laughs> that's a mistake all right i'm looking for live apologists on tiktok that i can interact with because if I find one that's actually capable of having oh, yeah, a conversation, yeah. I want to get them to call in. Yeah, yeah. And so instead, what I get are people who literally uh, understand the Bible in their version in English. And when I point out what the actual Hebrew or Greek says or Arabic says and why they should get a wonderful tool like this e-sword that I have, because I don't know all this stuff off the top of my head. Um, they're just like, well, no, no, no. It was, it was revealed to me. I've been banned from so many live Christian TikToks. It's pathetic. <laughs> and most of them have banned me because I've asked, how can you demonstrate the truth of what you claim? And that was a problem I had a believer with. When I was a believer, I just assumed that the pastors and stuff, you know, had had done all the checking. And, it, and then eventually I needed to go do the checking myself. And I just wish that's what the TikTok Christians would do is check yourself before you embarrass yourself by repeating something you heard yeah now i did have a preacher give a sermon once about whether or not there was life on another planet and it, his answer was basically i don't know but if there is they didn't sin because the, you know mm. that's the ken ham that's yeah. the ken ham answer yeah um, my mom always thought there's 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 a verse where it says jesus says there are sheep in a pen that none of you know about and my mom always said well that must be the aliens <laughs> and cool at least you're at least your mom I, I i can appreciate this maybe i can appreciate mm -hmm. if you look if you go back through the show today um the first caller i was happy to go until they said it describes it exactly no no it right. doesn't it's it doesn't even describe it vaguely the, the the time at which we interrupt with stuff um is important for clarity uh i I don't, want to, I don't want to keep harping on this because the callers aren't actually uh, here anymore. 
but we've run over time. And I really was hoping that when somebody calls in to talk about what the King James Bible says, that they might actually know what the King mm. James Bible says and that they'd have picked something out where they had a verse prepared. At least the guy who was citing Enoch knew the, the, the three verses that he wanted to reference. Right. Yeah. Um, but if you don't know your book, you know, can we put up the, uh, the merchandise thing again? I know that you, the crew's ready to go, uh, but this is how we're going to do this. That T-shirt in the middle where it says, Theus, you need to bring your A game. That is the most clear instruction you're going to get. If you show up not knowing what your book says and pretend like you do, you're going to get trounced. If you show up pretending you know what atheists think and believe and then demonstrate that you don't, you're going to get trounced. Neither, I know you won't believe this, probably won't believe this about me. Maybe you'll believe it about Paul. Neither one of us show up here this week or any other week looking to embarrass Christians or trounce them. Both of us would love to know what the truth is. And if you have it, we'd like to know it. And if we have it, we'd like to help you understand it. Exactly. It gets incredibly frustrating from time to time. And I, I'm more likely to lose my patience after 17 years of doing this than Paul is. But the thing is, none of us are asking for anything special. We're not asking for, oh, well, you know, you better come with a fire in the sky message that everybody can read in their language sort of thing and proof of God, just make an actual valid and sound argument backed by evidence, just like you would for anything else. When you say, how do we know that evolution by means of natural selection happened? Well, that's a theory. It is a model based on this, this, and this. And here are the bits of evidence that point to it. How do we know that vaccines don't in fact cause autism? Ah, here's the studies that show this thing. How do we know that cooperation is better than conflict. We know that from the evidence and from game theory. How do we know that prayer does not work? That intercessory prayer fails and in some cases can do harm if the person knows they're being prayed about it. I know that not because of anything any atheist said, but because a Christian organization, the Templeton Foundation, did this research because that organization desperately wants to prove that there's a God. And so they spend millions of dollars funding research in the hopes that someday science will confirm the likelihood or probability of a God. And yet it doesn't happen. And while some people think, well, maybe they will someday, I think they won't ever. And the reason is, if there was a God who wanted a demonstrable bit of evidence for its existence. And an organization like the Templeton Foundation was doing a, a test on intercessory prayer. God would know it, and God would reveal himself through that study the first time, the second time, the third time, the fourth time. But clearly, he either doesn't exist or doesn't want us to know he exists. Either way, not my fucking problem. And if you can't come with your A game, we'll move on to the next caller. 